There are many ways to view multiband image data. Here I'll explore some of the display options for a multiband raster in QDisk Desktop. This is an aerial photograph of a portion of the Davis-Purdue Agriculture Center in Randolph County, Indiana, and you're seeing a patch of forest and some agricultural fields. I'll begin by opening the layer properties for this image by double-clicking on the layer in the table of contents. And I'll switch to the Style tab. This image has three bands. Each band represents a segment of the electromagnetic spectrum. In this case, band 1 represents the red portion, band 2 the green portion, and band 3 the near-infrared portion. Therefore, in this image, we're able to see characteristics of the landscape that we can't see with our naked eyes since they can only detect visible light. When an image has multiple color bands, Q just defaults to a multi-band color renderer. Colors on your computer monitor are created by combining three color channels, red, green, and blue. By selecting three bands from a multi-band image and illuminating them with either red, green, or blue light, we create a color image on our computer monitor. The multicolor renderer defaults to showing band 1 through the red channel, band 2 through the green channel, and band 3 through the blue channel. But I can change this band combination. Right now I'll switch it to band 3, 2, 1, and click Apply. This band combination creates what is called a false color composite. Vegetation reflects a lot of near-infrared energy. So you're now looking at the near-infrared through the red channel, so vegetation shows up as red tones. The brighter the red, the more vigorous and healthy the vegetation. The Style tab also has a Contrast Enhancement adjustment, which defaults to no enhancement. This, when combined with the Load Min Max Value settings, give you a lot of options for altering the display of your image data. By default, the renderer is set to use cumulative count cut values from 2 to 98%. This setting eliminates the bottom and top 2% of the values. Many images have some outlying very low and high data values, and these outlying data values can be eliminated with this cumulative count cut setting. Each band has values from 0 to 255, and right now if I click the load button, QGIS will load the values that are in the 2 to 98% range of the values for each band. And right now they're being estimated. I can click the actual setting and click load again and you see those values change a little bit from being estimated to being the actual values in the raster. Next I'll change the contrast enhancement to stretch to min max and click apply. This setting scales the colors between the minimum and maximum values. The image gets a little brighter because the colors are now being stretched across a range of values. I'm both applying a stretch and eliminating the bottom and top 2% of the values with the default cumulative count cut setting. Now I'll switch this to a mean plus or minus standard deviation, click the load button, and you'll see the values change. These are the values within one standard deviation of the mean value. This is useful when you have one or two cells with abnormally high values in a raster grid that are having a negative impact on the rendering of the raster. And I'll click apply and you'll see the image become much more saturated than it had been previously. I can also look at one individual band by changing the render type from multiband color to single band gray. And I can choose which band I'd like to see, and I'll click Apply. So right now I'm looking at band 3 stretched across a black to white color gradient. And I can investigate each band individually this way. Here's band 2 and band 1. For the time being, I'll switch this back to a multiband color display with the 3, 2, 1 band combination and a stretch from min to max. Let's switch to the transparency tab. There's a global transparency setting that allows me to adjust the transparency of the image in its entirety. And this would be useful if I had something underneath the image that I wanted to see through it. I can also define image values that I want to be transparent. Notice that in the lower left hand corner there's a black rectangle with no image data. I'll click the Add Values from Display button and click on the black rectangle. QGIS will measure the values for all three bands where I clicked and enter them into the transparent pixel display. And I'll click Apply. Now you've seen a little bit about how to render multiband imagery in QGIS Desktop. In the next task, 
you'll learn how to create an unsupervised classification.